day boats. They keep getting larger, they keep getting more luxurious, and the performance keeps going up. And certainly, the Chaparral we're about to take a look at covers off all of those things. It's got everything, including enough space below for weekending. It's got excellent performance in this 337 SS. It drives like a small sport boat. So let's take a closer look. It's big, it's bold, and it's a bow rider designed to meet the needs of both day and weekend boaters. Yes, it has a cabin, a full beam one. Yet the 337's profile sitting still or underway says hard top sport boat. Take your pick, she delivers on all accounts. The stern focuses on the water with a large integrated swim platform and a transom seat that converts to a sun pad at the touch of a switch. A wide walkthrough leads to the spacious cockpit designed for entertaining. L-shaped seating wraps around the transom and port side. The cushions lift on articulating hinges, providing clear access to the storage. Our test model had the optional wet bar complete with sink, pressure water, trash receptacle, and a pull-out cooler in place of seating. A 70 cubic foot in-deck locker can swallow everything from toys to the cockpit table and more. You'll appreciate the double helm and companion seats for extended cruises. The helm is trimmed out in French stitch vinyl, full wood, stainless steel and aluminum, a theme that continues throughout the cockpit. A Garmin MFD is flanked by the Mercury Vessel View 4 and precision pilot systems in the upper binnacle and system switches and the stereo remote fill the lower. A well-placed console places the DTS controls and Axios joystick in a natural feeling position. As a bow rider, the 337 excels with innovative seating. The port lounger wraps around across the bow and is flanked by a single forward-facing seat. Maximizing storage, the 337 incorporates underseat storage, insulated draining bow locker, and an in-deck locker. At the bow, an integrated anchor davit and road locker are standard. Our test boat had the optional windlass, rope and chain, anchor and spotlight. As impressive as the cockpit is, opening the port console door will surprise you. The cabin is attractive with its wood finishes, bright lighting and light upholstery. A mini galley and LED TV are to port as you enter and to starboard is an L-shaped settee that converts to a berth. Three opening screen ports, a clothing locker, and optional air conditioner make this a usable space. Forward to port is the head and shower compartment, again with an opening port as well as a power vent. When it comes to power, Chaparral offers a full range from Mercruiser and Volvo. Our test boat came with Mercruiser 6.2 liters, complete with the optional Axios system. This package delivered the ease of joystick control around the docks skyhook position holding, and integrated autopilot, plus performance. A tough-to-beat combination. <laughs>